Hello dear friends, here we are, Drops of Light. This is chapter 13 of the book, Gotas de Luz in Portuguese, in English, Drops of Light. We are here tonight, for us who are in the North Hemisphere and in the United States of America, East Coast, I know it's day in several parts, and we're here with you to study this spiritist poetry today. This book is unique, Gota Gelu's Drops of Light, because its function is mainly to make us disconnect the plugs that we have with the negative thinking, and make us connect with the positive thinking, the positive that is always with us. Yes, I know life is challenging. Who can tell on the earth they don't have challenges? I can't, we all experience, each, experience challenges, but we are here with a single opportunity to keep on focusing on the good and feel compassion for those who really create obstacles to the works of the good and are not there yet. So, this spiritist poetry is coming from the highest spheres, highest, says Leon Denis in the book, Spiritism in the Arts. This book, it brings to us the awareness about importance of the arts. We need to rescue on the earth, and I mentioned, Espiritismo nas Artes, which is the Portuguese title. In English, it's coming about sometime soon. Spiritism in the Arts. Leon Denis tells us about how arts can be empowering as long as it's in the harmonic tunes. Whether painting, writing, singing, playing, we are unfolding that reality on the earth as we speak. All the arts are being renewed, and we're being asked to renew also our taste for literature. Literature, like poetry, is part of the arts, and it's not trivial. There was a time, you know why many people don't like poetry or they have some, they don't understand what it is, because in the past, many centuries ago, not too long ago, though, but always, people use the poetic form for romantic reasons, for several reasons, but to inspire and illuminate. Finally, with the Spiritist poetry, we're restoring the style of literature that we call poetry to what it must be. It's a form of music that comes, as Leon Denis says, to bring us knowledge, but also, also to strengthen our morale, to strengthen our ethical, moral connection, alignment, however you want to name it. That's why we're here at 11 p.m. making this international connection to create this beautiful bridges of light, of friendship, and this poetry showering. Let's visualize it. Showering drops of light on the earth, soothing the hearts of those who are, are desperate, who are hopeless, who are angry, who are envious, well, however they are feeling, okay? So, especially the United States of America. Why? Because it's the brain of the earth. And the brain, your brain, my brain, is the commander of our the body, inevitably. So we need to bless it because it affects every one of us. So, God bless America and the world as well, of course course the whole world but we need to be in sync with our dear governor Jesus Christ 
who loves the planet and assigned to this specific country a particular role that we need to help be fulfilled. Okay? All right, friends. Enough with the messages that are opening the pathway. Now let's say hi to the community and open up. When we read your names, the goal is simply to make us all, even those who don't have their names being written here or read here or who have their or are watching us on demand, we want everyone to feel that you're in a big classroom in this world, uh, an earthly classroom where we're all receiving these teachings from the Master himself. And we, together, our students, listening, feeling, calibrating ourselves and moving forward, pressing on, never stopping. Write Simone, beautiful Simone Neto, from the Spirit Center Love and Light in Orlando, Florida. Beautiful works. Keep up the good work, my friend. Les Severo is here. Les Severo is helping us at Cardiac Radio. She's also reminding us if people want to buy Portuguese written books for the campaign of the Spirit Center in Brazil, Luz e Caridade, Light and Charity, go also to leopublisher.com and you're helping the Mission of the Way, which is the Valdo Franco's Foundation, and the Center in Brazil, and yourself as well, because you're creating bonds of love. It's like seeds of love. Some people ask me, how can I help people? You help when people ask for help, but you also help when they need help and they don't know how to ask for help. But in this case, it's explicit. Today, we had the joy to open two packages. One, the package by Sol Souza. Yes, who is in the tri-state area. And she sent the messengers in Portuguese to the center. We're going to bring it to them. Don't worry. And Kardec Radio also received by mail four books by Alan Kardec. But we don't know who sent them. So if it's you, just let us know. You know why we're sharing the names? It's not out of vanity. Just so we feel a current of support, loving light. Okay? All right. Here we have Livia Moraes. How are you, Livia? Deni and Erica. Beautiful Deni, beautiful Erica. They are also working for the campaign. The family of my cousin Erica is in Brazil working as points of collection of the book. So let's press on and get it, right? Julija. Our beautiful Australia represented here by Julija and Rihanna, Rihanna, Nico, the South Africa Spiritist Group received so many books, Pathway of Light, Rejoice. It's endless now, huh, Rihanna? Works and studies and we're here to support. Seisa, beautiful Seisa. Karina, beautiful Karina, also collecting many books. And one of the points of collection in Santo André, São Paulo. Thank you, Karina. Aglais Wolber, thank you for being with us. Sunshine is here. Thank you. Thank you, Livia. Art therapy is huge here in Wisconsin. Wow, that's good to know. Tell me more about it later, please, Livia. We would like to know. Leonor Pacheco, thank you for being here with us. Nina, Teresa Castro, and Rudy, it's pre pleasant to be present. <laughs> You're a poet. You are a poet. Our dear friend, poet. All right. Who is ready? Are you ready? I'm ready too. Chapter 13. We're going to read in Portuguese first and then in English, okay? Portuguese because it's the original format and then English, okay? Yes, Sunshine, I got your email. 
but I tell you, these days have been like crazy busy at the center, Kardec Radio, the School of Emotion, and Virginia, because she's not in school. The school had a break, so. <laughs> but I'm going to catch up, friends. Don't worry. You are in my heart, sunshine. You are in, not only in my heart, but I have your name in my list. My list. See? Sunshine. Call sunshine. <laughs> right, Hippolito? Yes, Hippolito. Let's pray at the end for the people in Texas. Thank you. And we have Carrie and Mark, who are with us on the app. Double check in the app, and they say it's good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Ready? 13th. Anexins de sempre. Anexins in Portuguese means proverbs, okay? It, sayings, that's what it means. A cabeça ambiciosa que vive votada ao mal escreve o favor na areia e grava a ofensa em metal. Quem teme cobra e largarto, quem passarinhos receia, perde a vida sem combate, não prepara e nem semeia. Aprende a ver e lembrar, no curso de toda a história, o soberbo perde a vista, o ingrato perde a memória. Da ternura doce e branda, Ser devoto não escravo, eu bonzinho, tu bonzinho, quem educa o burro bravo. Quem educa o burro bravo? Quem? No mesmo tronco, onde a abelha retira fortuna e mel, a aranha escura e desforme, faz morte, peçonha e fel. Cultiva a lei do equilíbrio, que nos ajuda e contenta, se o necessário deleita, o excesso fere e atormenta. Do verbo usado no mundo, nasce a guerra, nasce a paz. Com palavras edificas, com palavras matarás. Guarda sempre em teu trabalho silêncio e ponderação, quando a praça parlamenta, é hora de redenção, de redenção, rendição. Cumprindo a vontade eterna, ser pronto, leal e breve. Quem faz tudo o que deseja, nem sempre faz quanto deve. Não te revoltes, se a terra nega-te acesso ao jardim. Há números de começo, não há número de fim. Right. Let's go. Here we have precisely ten stanzas. Let's go for the English so we can talk about it and feel the good. You know, remember when Chico Xavier was psychographing this, 1953. You know, he was young. Yeah, he was still young. And he was working hard to bring these teachings to us. We cannot spoil not feeling it. Okay? Annexings of always. The ambitious mind, evil oriented, writes the favor on the sand and records the offense in metal. Whoever fears snakes and lizards, whoever dreads little birds, loses life without battle and doesn't prepare, doesn't need to prepare or so. Learn to see and to remember throughout history the proud person loses sight, the ingrate loses memory. 
of sweet and gentle tenderness, be devoted, not, not a slave. I am good, you are good, but who educates the stubborn donkey? In the same trunk, where the bee removes fortune and honey, the dark and deformed spider makes death, poison, and gall. Cultivate the law of balance that helps us and makes us content. If the necessary delights us, the excess hurts and torments us. From the word used in the world, war is born, peace is born. With words, you build. With words, you may kill. Always guard in your work silence and prudence when the surrender of the square, it is time for rendition. Fulfilling the eternal will, be ready, loyal, and brief. Whoever does everything that he wants does not do what he must. Do not rebel if the earth denies you access to the garden. There are beginning numbers and there are and there is no end number of end or end number. What does it all mean? <laughs> That's a good question, huh? That's a good question. What does it all mean? That's a good point. Right, Adilson and Angelita. Angelita is back. And Angelita is here, present in this pleasant present with us. She comes from a beautiful experience in Madagascar and she is helping people understand more about the the mission of fraternity without borders you can buy t-shirts like this written fraternity without borders and in different colors and you can contact leasevero at gmail.com or angelita right here angelita de paulo so you can get a hold about the mission and how else you can help Thank you, Angelita, for being with us. So, again, stop breathing in and out. Reset. Why are we here? We're no kidding, focused on the good. That's the answer. We are coaching ourselves. Well, we have a coach. Casimiro Cunha is the teacher. He comes with a team of illuminated minds bringing to us in these stanzas each and every verse, inspiring us as if you are in a yoga class and the teacher saying, um, let's do the tree, all the names of yoga, you know? Or if you are in a step class and they say, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up. And now, and you say, I'm tired. That's the point. That's the point. You're supposed to work the muscles. Casimiro Cunha apparently is an easy teacher, but deep down, he's really, really working the muscles of our soul. Let's check it out. Huh? We have 10 stanzas. In each and every one, he is reminding us of laws of life that we cannot forget. You know why? You and I are fulfilling God's will. We're supposed to. If we don't know if whether we're fulfilling or not, it's easy. When we read these books, we get reassured or recalibrated. So let's go for stanza number one. He's talking about Proverbs of Always. Proverbs of Always, meaning they are eternal. 
immortal. So he begins talking about ambition and he ends talking about expectations that are not met. So ambitions, the ambitious mind, evil oriented, writes favor on the sand and records the offense in battle, meaning they have a hard time to forgive. These are people who are daily thinking about what they want. I want this. I want people to do that. They are frustrated that things don't go their way. So if somebody does something to them, they write on sand, meaning, yeah, 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 they think, yeah, deep inside they think they are entitled to people serving them. And when people by any chance do not fulfill their expectations and they take offense, they have a hard time forgiving and forgetting. Since there's a therapeutic conversation, where do you think you are in that regard? Are you writing what people give to you? A smile, a kind work, wor word, a hug, their presence, their help in our daily things. Are we taking it for granted or are we saying thank you and really saying, I'll never forget. When this person opened the house, their house for me, when they came to my house to be with me in a critical time, I'll never forget when they gave me that special hug. Why not count the blessings? Why not? Do you count your blessings? Should we count the blessings? That's what Emmanuel meant by seeking the good. Counting the blessings. Do you count the blessings? How do you count the blessings? Huh? If you go to Amazon.com, it may sound funny, but it's real. They sell a jar of blessings. And you can write the blessings and every, it's such a beautiful jar. And you can write the blessings on it. And every day, you know, you put in the jar, you write one, put in the jar and put in the jar. And one day you read them all. Can you imagine the blessing of reading your counting of the blessings? It's endless blessings, right? So this is our homework for the next 24 hours. Spend the next 24 hours counting the blessings. You have a phone, right? You know what you can do? You can count the blessings. Huh? Count the blessings. How? Type it in. Make a note. This, that, and the other. Or record it. Listen to it later. So we don't forget. Count it each and every blessing. You know when you spend time with friends that are adorable and it's so joyful, you can be you with them, that's a true blessing on the earth. A true blessing. When you are in a family that is harmonious, that's a blessing. But also when you're being asked to be the peacemaker, that's a blessing. And when you're asked to be a peacemaker, it means that there's a problem. And you're the one being called to keep everybody, you know, aligned. Meaning, not controlling them, but saying, guys, it's okay. Like my grandmother, who is the president, she's almost 90 years old. And she was the president of the Centro Espírita Luz e Caridade that is turning 100 years. Years and years ago, she was president of that center for more than 20 years. I think it was 25 years. And then she gave a break because other people came in. And then now at the end of, I'm not going to say the end of her life because only God knows. But now at a more advanced age, she's asked back to her position. And she has taught me this thing about Vanessa. You know, do the opposite. Write the possible offenses on sand. 
because as soon as another wave of goodness comes it goes away and write the fevers the blessings on metal so you never forget don't take the bad things too hard she always said that no wonder she is experiencing the great health etc at this advanced age because it's the application the application of it all dr heber benson has been proving scientifically and we have many papers that when we are in a less combative manner a combative approach with people we turn on the parasympathetic system which is the relaxation system our genes respond to that parasympathetic activation and we live longer more healthily so another therapeutic question for us here are you living more on the sympathetic activation or parasympathetic you know what it means sympathetic is when you feel that life is a threat people are a threat the world is a threat you'll be always in chronic stress versus God is so good God is so good God is so good that he's taking care of everyone God is so good and I look at people no fear even if they challenge us at first we feel like, <gasps> but then I breathe out Ooh. you're like <gasps> and we're like okay that's okay Ooh. I don't allow it to go on and on bring it home people disappointed me they frustrated me okay I mean earth what can you expect I shouldn't expect anything I should expect to be forgiving to be kind to be resilient to be determined and let it be people can be whoever they want but they are children of God are you afraid of people scale zero to ten overall zero being not afraid at all 10 being like super afraid I'm afraid of everybody Vanessa don't trust anybody I have a hard time if that's the case revisit your concept of God his providence the elements of the universe in your existence as part of it all because at the end of the day God is the good and the good is supreme it permeates the universe drives the universe because it's only love when we see the universe as love loving myself as loving and loved people as being lovable as much as i am i will relax Ooh, now i can relax so let's exercise tonight with Casimiro Cunha let's put our hands here and say I am lovable I am lovable I am lovable I am lovable now tell the world you people you are lovable you are lovable because we are all children of God. Right, Margaret Carmo, Hercules. Thank you. Say, so what do you mean a hundred? What is that a hundred about? I missed it. Livia Moraes. Can we count the same blessings daily? Of course, those and more. Beautiful question, Livia. So, now, this is something very interesting. He says, Casimiro Queen is our teacher. He's saying now, let's go to the right. What does he mean? Whoever fears snakes and lizards and who dreads little birds loses life without battle and does not either prepare or sow 
He's talking exactly what we're saying. Fear, say no to fear. Thank you, fear, but no thank you. I'm good without you. But you know how we conquer fear? With love. Love is the antidote. It's not courage. It's love. It's love. Fear is the lack of love. So I can tell myself, I trust. I trust in God. I trust me. I trust life. Let's repeat. I trust in God. I trust me. I trust life. Life is good. Isn't it? Became a brand. It already materialized on the earth. Learn to see and remember throughout history. The proud loses sight. The ingrate loses memory. So, again, counting the blessings, counting the blessings. I'm going to count the blessings all day long. Why not? Vanessa, I'm afraid of counting the blessings because when I do, I feel so joyful, I'm afraid of being disappointed the next minute. That is lack of faith. Jesus was a smiling master. No matter what happened and what was going to unfold, and he knew it. He's our master. Let's allow him to coach us. Shall we, friends? Now, Casimiro Cunha is going to counterbalance with a major, major law of life. Yes, we can be gentle and kind, devoted, but not a slave. You know when people say, Oh, I'm too good to people, and you're too good to people. And then he asks, who is going to educate the stubborn donkey? Meaning, somebody has to say no. Be kind, sweet, gentle, devoted, but like the Master Jesus. Yes, yes, no, no. Yes, yes, no, no. Okay? Don't worry about anything else. Just be coherent. And he says... A little more to us, a little more, a little more. Cultivate the law of balance that helps us and keep us content. If the necessary delights us, the excess hurts and torments. You know where we can begin? With food. Cutting the excess. And... When we talk about the environment and being green, I was reading a child's book today at the library, and it said to be green, we need to stop acquiring new things, spending on water and electricity. That's a good way to start, helping not only ourselves, but the world. Turning off the computer. Turning off uh, the lights in your house. Spending less time in a shower. Enough to be clean, to pray, but not too much to indulge. And he says, stop acquiring many things. Like more, more, more. Buy more, 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 more. We buy, we give. We buy, we give to the people who need it so we don't accumulate. Shall we, Cacilda? Hello, Cacilda. Welcome. Now the power of words. He says, from the word used in the world, war is born, peace is born. With words we build, with words we may also kill. Words are so powerful because they are true imprints in the mind. So let us do an affirmation so we can learn to speak wisely, shall we? Again, 
the exercise. Breathing in and out and telling ourselves, now put your hand here on your throat, this chakra promoting all this expression through the voice, the vocal cords, let us bless it and say, I speak wisely. I speak kindly. I speak lovingly. Again, I speak wisely. I speak kindly. I speak lovingly. This is the design of your house. You're building a new you. I'm building a new me, thanks to Casimiro Cunha. And we are blessing the power that is given to us through our voice. Using it wisely. Speaking less, but speaking precisely. Right, Renata, how are you? Hope to see you tomorrow. Right? Well, he's saying here, now, you see the power of silence? He says, keep in your work silence and ponderation, meaning moderation. He's saying when we talk too much, it spoils everything. So, speak wisely and cultivate silence. I know it's awkward, huh? But you know, when we cultivate external silence, we're producing beautiful thoughts. The awkwardness goes away. Do you agree? Yes, it is. And finally, when we, we already talked about fulfilling God's will, when we fulfill the eternal will, we must be ready, loyal, and brief. You see? Some people think too much about doing the good. The good must be done. We must be ready for it, loyal to it, and brief. You know, like we do what we have to do and that's it. So when we want to attach ourselves to that good, we need to ask, what is the emotional need that I have right now? And work on it. Sometimes we want to stay like attached, almost symbiotically. No, 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 no. We can't. It's like a mother and a child, mother and a teenager, or a family, friends, colleagues. We need to help and set them free because no one belongs to anyone. No one belongs to anyone. We all belong to God. That's the way it is. Finally, Casimiro Cunha. We love you so much because he finalizes. He began the poem talking about ambition. He ends talking about when we have frustrations and we don't meet our expectations, he says, whenever that happens, remember, just leave it alone. It's not supposed to be this way. Since we began with ambitions and the power of allowing ourselves to fulfill God's will and not reinforcing our wants and needs, how about if we remind ourselves of our true nature? And through this song, we wish that this be a prayer. May this be a prayer of joy, of renewed hopes, new strength to discarnates and incarnates, victims of the hurricane in Houston, Texas, and everywhere in the world where uh, sorrows, pains are truly existence and cruelly invading lives. Shall we? So let's go. I am a child of God. 
I am a child of God. I reincarnated to learn to do good. Reincarnation, the path of progress. Reincarnation, the opportunity. Reincarnation, the way to become good, to achieve true happiness. We are children of God. We are children of God. We reincarnated to learn to do good and let's do the good because the good feels good. Let us all in the next 24 hours seek the blessings, count the blessings, make a note, write them on metal and never forget that you're light, you're a child of God in your joy of living. Big hug! And until tomorrow, God willing, with more drops of healing light.